Good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America in Washington on November 15th, 2021. And this is Live Talk. I am Kip Stube. And I'm Jonga Kandemiri. Tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about the death of Zanu PF spokesperson Simon Kamoyo, the de facto military crew in 2017 and COVID 19. First, a look at COVID 19. The Minister of Health reports that one person died of COVID-19 yesterday and 10 others tested positive for coronavirus. The ministry says 4,697 people have succumbed to COVID-19 since March last year. The ministry reports that over 3.4 million people have received their first dose of, COVID, of the COVID-19 vaccine and at least 2.7 million their second dose. In politics, the late Zanupia spokesperson Simon Kayamoyo has been declared national hero. And it's now almost four years after Robert Mkabe was toppled in a de facto military coup in Zimbabwe. What has happened since that time? Yeah. Was the city as a military by three million four hundred sixty eight thousand three hundred and forty four, as a by two million six hundred ninety six thousand five hundred sixteen. So, the one and Jalutig, active cases, well as Mbappe, who left four hundred and fifty four. Masses in Yenage was Umbangas, is really a Uti, Umumzana, Simon Kayamoyo, or his Kulumeli, Seval Jazan Pierre, Kase Konjaloge, who sent away stock to Set Cowardless Israel. The national hero. So as in Jalu to get less work for Zela on 2017 Arare, a Ibu to selling Gene M. Kokoeni, seven for telephone Rotige, Kususwe, while Monga Meli, Europa Nunkabe, Esculen. So Gunjaloge, a Jonga, Scobag and Void. Ongo, I do a terri, never tarry, Nasimuchonga Cheluche live talk. Trutarisa, Zino, Zinokana Pita, Zita, two Kanazina, Chebutanga, Rinaya, Yedenda, the Covid nineteen. It's no nauti, ne Zuro, Munumechete, Akafa, ne Covid nineteen. Rame, Vano, Panapita, Gumi, Bakavani Pavaine, Denda Iroro, a Tishitari so Zakari, it's no nauti, Vanoafa, ne Covid nineteen, Kushika, ye, ne Zuro, Bakangava, Zuro, Zina, Nemazana Matana, tu. Nemakumi mafumba mwe, nevano mwe, 4,697. Vanu wakanga wabai wawo, uh, nombaye kutanga, wakanga wafura, zishoma, mamiru eni mana, ne chitimbu, kana kutine mazana mana, ezuru, 3.4 million. Kote wabai wa nombaye piri, wakanga wafura, mamiru eni maviri, ne mazana, mano mwe, ezuru, e, ezuru, 2.7 million. Totari samunya ezu, matonge riwaye nyika, Tukuwa na kuti eh, pane wakashaya ne zuro wa Simon Kaya Moyo Vangawari mutawiriwe batole zanu PF Tazivis kwa kuti wapu wa remekezo regamba renyika Inganzi pachurungu national hero Itunuzi kwa waka wanda wa shitaro utaiwa Apana anu pikisa kuti wa Simon Kaya Moyo Wanga hitu kwa gamba ne zuro eh, Takanzi kwa waka wanda wa ita ura hizo so, Mchurungu wa chedisha taita mangwana na nasi Cheri miruweshona tataura na wa Joseph Chuma Vanoe Shamari, ye pejko, ya wa Simon Kayamoe, wa shitara ute, aa mabasa kaba tukwa na wa Simon Kayamoe, apana muna angambonzi, aa pikisa, kutivasa ye kwa gambare nyika, etinu daira kutu wakawanda, vacha kurukura na wapachurongwa panu, vacha po maoniro avu, asi, aa washoma watinga tarisa, watumanga poka na nazo, e kwa tuwo imenya ya tiliku tarisa nezra ayo, tunura uti kubwa, nezuro, nyika ye Zimbabwe, yange ya shutama kore mana, wa hivyo mtu ngamiri we nyika, wa Robert Mugabe. Wa tanga churungwa choku viskwa pashigaro ni mauto. Inganzi ni wamwe de facto kuu. Wamu wa shitai wa anzi soft kuu. Andi zoguti pane zimwe zine zaka wama erene zimwe zaka fawa. Saka turuku wana uti e, makwere mana wamu gabe wa viskwa pashigaro. 
tonzi kwa wakuti shizwa shanduka ndoza tunota risa ukurukura ni wadare wedu na asi mwena wachino uchuro mkwa kibs yes uh, uh, joseph chumo actually sent us an audio concerning salmon kaya let's listen to this audio exactly what you are saying the coming in of the new dispatch no i think uh, it's if i see i see you so this yes, yes, is okona kukuti kutuan silu sizi kakulu mwamgela umbigo upsungangala umana itakhel dala eh inkokeli yetu eh omunye wabakali benda wale uwaba u simon kaya moyo selele nkosini em indo da smnz pose impili ya kiyonke kweze politi sugira nge skati kusisa iza apu wazi kwa wala kumamba na kweze apu leza anu jongwe so kubunjwa iza anu pf ebe indo dema dote ni si azu wana mwie uwe pete eh yu ofisi eh information and publicity uzanu pf upoliti bureau wada ke mga yu nge zwaka atle kwa ke si azu wana uwe seke wa shala panzu is kind of lazy he go on a level of acting a secretary of our bima see it's coming in a wana who's a man on a pen do we go down go to the second deal of one a tatty you were like a and got in the ake uh also said a very good city will really will not all in leo baba as came on you as you properly known who the deal of humble rock Imsiwe ni yake miche iza kulandela, lala ngo kutula kwa wala matkawe, lala ngo kutula moyo moshe, siza kulandela na tenzi ni na leo, usibiki lugha ba pambi liko na ngali, son of the soil, manoni sabati, manawe vu, si abonga. So well, that is uh, Mr. Joseph Chuma. He is in Bulawayo. So he was talking about SK Moyo. He says, you know, he fought a very, very tough battle. You know, he has been sick for a while. You know that uh, there was an acting spokesperson of the party. And so he says, it's really sad that SK Moyo is late. And he's tracing back his uh, history, saying SK Moyo used to work uh, with, uh, with the late former president, uh, sorry, vice president. Joshua Mkavo Nyongo Longomo. So he says, uh, you know, he, he's known for what he actually did and all those kind of things. Even if there are some people who are saying, you know what, SK Moyo had, um, uh, had gone too much into ZANU PF and forgot about his own people. So we are going to be dissecting some of these issues, including the one that is uh, today's topical issue the issue of the military, de facto military coup. And this was not turns up or Joseph Truman in the Central Committee, a battery and PF, Wangavari, Mungo Ivan, very page go, Nava Simon Kaya Moyo, Vach Taura, Nesha Mabasa, Akaitwa, Nava Simon Kaya Moyo, Vachirva Penu, Avarkuti, Ah, Panamunanga Pikisa, says an Ambutaura Pekutanga, Varkutaura, a Panamunanga Pikisa, Mabasa, Anunza Akaitwa, Nava Simon Kaya Moyo. It turns out that our people are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do this. We are not going to be able to do Mshire mekunge mambo kangani sika, neza hitika, matunye matelelendi, ne midlands. Ndo nyaya zangazi chi tsinirwa na wa chuma kuti mabasa. Ava Simon Kaya Moyo, mabasa anu kutewera. Anzi mabasa hako, auna itauru mpenyu, anu kutewera. Whatever you did follows you even into death, Gibbs. And according to the state control Gerald newspaper, Simon Kaya was today declared a national hero. Uh, he was 76 years old, according to the newspaper, and he succumbed to cancer uh, yesterday at Matate Hospital in Bulawayo. And according to the newspaper, the same newspaper, uh, the ZANU PF Secretary for Administration, uh, Dr. Opet Mpofu, uh, told the press that um, 
the national euro status to the veteran uh, nationalist family was a thing that uh, he actually delivered this at uh, uh, the funeral work of um of, of kaya moyo so he uh, just excuse me there so uh, according to mpofu he said uh, the ruling party unanimously agreed that uh, kaya moyo his contribution in liberating zimbabwe uh, befit or befitted that of a national hero so guys you want to go to the paper and the world newspaper and it's a car moyo say the pure is to cause a cow the season a more what is in a 76 would target over to a c4 say 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 for zan and i don't feel like i'm going to get a day hospital so guys you want to get to order the operating profile or you know no pala chikelele is not to a secretary we administration kubanda there's an opf a utege kono kusiko kwa zoti national hero siveza kono kutu umoyo walwa mp yankulu lego wae kusa hapu siya kwa zikuwa nkilo kwa zuza imilitari training yake kuna ngale kule russia le cuba so ge abantu wali ba sisi lindwe ni siya mwoyo kuna ngale hillside popula wayo so ge umpo futi ge umoyo ee bafu mele ni wonke kutu umoyo likawe la makawe so siya wano tige wasu kwa zikuwa 1968 Zesia kuna ngale MP ni. Wafike la kuna ngale Zambia wakuna Zesia kwa lichini wafunda fundela social work. Wakuna jesia ndawene zinengi. Zesia jeneo lapo wakuna zesia tole kuna iti kri yake. Nye kuja loke chonga. Ndito zo gipse chanzwa bepa na umu rehera utirukuta ura kuti mwenyori anona nje kufamsi kwa mabasa kana kutifamsi kwa msangano uweza anu PF wa obet mpofu. Nduwa shita mashoko kumuri ya wa Simon Kaya Moyo kutiva piwa remekezo rwe gamba renyika. Tino ziwa kutiva Moyo wa kaenda kuwondo 1968 wa chibuda mwenyika wa chenda kuzambia. Wakashika kuzambia waka endera mberine chikuru kuzambia ikoko waka zuba waka enda kumeita shizizo shoe wondo kurashia ni kukiuba ndo manga mashoko arukuta uruwa mdepa na u rehera uduwa chiti wa shaya wawa ni makore 76 kana kutimakumi manomwe ni matana atu ndizo so gibbs yes we are expecting the first of mkwati of zanu pf to actually join us shortly i hope he's going to do that we actually invited him and we hope he's going to join us and then we've got other cases that are supposed to join us as well and now let's uh, proceed to the other issue that we're discussing today, the issue of the uh, de facto military coup. We remember what happened on the 14th of November 2017 when then Major General Smusso Moyo went on television to announce what was going on. The day before that, uh, you know, there were some uh, announcements that were made by the army, which actually expressed some kind of discontent over the manner in which um, uh, Zanopio was being run. You know, we knew, we know that there were rallies that were being conducted by the first family. And in those rallies, uh, there was a lot of attack, you know, of, uh, on, on certain uh, individuals. And Mnangako by then, he was in South Africa, where, you know, he had fled after he was sacked as vice president. So, okay, see, Akumbula, okay, in this card, he uh, was 14, uh, 2017. Neskati seli siti ke seli pamba inta mba zombu so ngwa liti nga bantu mba wame kumbula zelu mka mba waka ngleyo izi lofa bantu wame zwayo so ke si akumbula kukuti neskati leso mnanga kwa pelo haisi kuna hali wale South Africa ela banye velo kwe kutuwa pe plan kutu pe wendu tiwe ngenza kusu su mka wese kulieni so ke chonga kunja loke mwache la bantu mwaloko ulandirai njizo so ita cha tarisa nyaimu ya taku zivisa ine zwayo yeku torwa kwe masi mba kuwa maoko ewa ewe mtungamiri wenyika wa Robert Mugabe mwusi wa 14 November ana utusi kwe mwusi wa 14 November ne mauto takawanzi kwa za iwe mkuruwe mauto mwewa kuruwe mauto wa sibu siso mwoyo waka enda pa mepo pa nifenyeleze BC mwusi wa 15 November wachiziwisa neje matano akanga atorwa ne mauto waka wimbisa nyika kuti aywa musashika zwenyu wa mugabe waka chenge tezeka kana kuti wa mugabe wari safe tukanzi tirikungo visa wano waka wapotele za waku ita kuti wange wachi taza kushanda mashandra wane kwa shitari siru wa semi tunga miru wenyika tingati nduo pakatanga noro ondo 
yekushanduka kwe masimba e, nguva iyoyo vave kutonga zvine zvine vave mutunga miri wenyika vave masamu nanga kwa vakanga vadzingwa mu bato rezano pf kwa vanga vari mutevedzeri webato uyezve vadzingwa kuve mutevedzeri wemutunga miri wenyika e, ku muhurumende vadzingwa vatiza vachibva vaenda ku South Africa vachita vari kuchikira hopenyu hwao e, vamugabe vakazoti musuwa 21 eh, tikati musuwa 20 november Mwe zanu PF waka zoo ita wano ti e, vote of no confidence kana kuti kura kusa kusha wa shuimbo. Ne utungamiri wa wamu gabe mbato rao wakati ya wacha wada kungawari mtungamiri we bato. Taka zoo na wamu gabe waka zonyori ratamba kuna wamu jenda we paramende msua 21 november wachita wada utaiwa ndawe kusi ya basa. Ndo upaka wapangu ita kufera kwe sarungano ya wamu gabe se mtungamiri. Saka tichangu wakuti jiza ita kuti jamunga tisha shanduka kubva pamugabe wa biswa pa chigaro gips yes let's just listen to, listen to what uh, mr isposo moyo the retired uh, 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 general uh, said on that particular day on the 14th of november 2017 about what was happening in the country following the address we made on 13 november 2017 which we believe our main broadcasters mogwe broadcasting corporation and the Herald were directed not to publicize the situation in our country has moved to another level. Firstly, we wish to assure the nation that His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zimbabwe and Commander in Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Araji Mugabe and his family are safe and sound and their security is guaranteed. We are only targeting criminals around him who are committing crimes that are causing social and economic suffering in the country in order to bring them to justice. As soon as we have accomplished our mission, we expect that the situation will return to normalcy. The situation would be civil normalcy. That was uh, then, uh, you know, as was so Moyo the late. You know, he was announcing this uh, kind of de facto military coup, uh, you know, on television. And you are saying, you know, the Herald and other publications didn't run their speech on the previous day. So he was very angry about that. So mm -hmm. now, what was happening was there was a coup underway. Uh, definitely, people can call it whatever. But some experts say the moment you remove a constitutionally elected government from power by force is a coup. That's the basic definition. So in this case, um, uh, the Zimbabwean soldiers were saying, no, this is not a coup. This is a way of arresting these criminals around. Uh, but uh, uh, Gibbs, <laughs> why did these uh, military guys report those criminals around Mugabe to the police? <laughs> That's a problem. That's a problem. Really. <laughs> so now I'm happy we've got our case uh, here uh, with us. First, we've got uh, Mr. Mkondisi Moyo uh, of the Mpaka's Republic Party. And the other case is Mr. Uh, uh, Regis Vusango uh, of Zanupia. Let's start with uh, Vusango to give us uh, the basis of what actually happened on, uh, on that particular day and what has happened over the years. Mr. Vusango, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you very much. So uh, we know that on the 14th of, uh, of, of, of November 2017, a, a, a de facto military coup was underway in Zimbabwe. And many things happened thereafter up to today. So did you guys really bless this kind of move by the army to, uh, for the army to take over? Uh, sorry, I didn't watch the video uh, that uh, you showed for some reason. Uh, it didn't, yes, it wasn't, okay. there was no sound. But yeah, uh, yes, yes, for sure, right. uh, I would, I would, uh, yeah, I would want to, first of all, um, you know, I would just like yeah, want to say to condolences to the uh, Kaya Moyo family in Plum Tree and all over the world, and to the Zan PF party, and uh, to the entire community of Zimbabweans uh, for his demise. Uh, to us in Zan PF, uh, Ambassador Kaya, as we used to call him, he was um, a man of integrity, a statesman. Um, he was somebody who 
was very loyal to San Pierre, not to an individual. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm sure you know that he, he is the one who was responsible to read out a letter that was written by our former president, uh, Arajim Mugabe, expelling the now president of Zimbabwe, Comrade Idi Mnangawa. Mm -hmm. He was actually the one again who wrote, uh, did uh, read out a letter uh, when Comrade Idi Mnangagwa was now being installed as the president of Zimbabwe in the ZANU PF, uh, 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 since he was a ZANU PF spokesperson at that time. So I think uh, your question you were asking me, I would answer it in this way. I think is if you look at the old dispensation that uh, took power or the rate from 1980 to 2017, if you can compare it with the new dispensation, which is being led by Comrade Idim Nangab, we have seen immense and immense unspeakable developments in our country. As ZANPF party, some of the developments, um, you don't see them on social media, but there's quite a lot of work that is being done on the ground. Um, I know people, uh, we are all concerned about job creation, but um, as far as the new dispensation is concerned, they have made many schools, every province is getting new, new schools, roads are being uh, developed, repaved, power generation stations, uh, solar generation uh, plants, uh, dams are being constructed. There's quite a lot of work that the new dispensation has been putting across. And I think it's only time will tell uh, when people, uh, especially the media, are uh, going to focus really on his de on the developments that were done by the new dispensation. So Comrade Kayamoy, being part of the old in the new dispensation, he has done his part um, and uh, throughout the, the, his entire uh, time when he was in Zampiev, he was loyal to the party and into the constitution of the party as, and of the government as well. He was somebody who was uh, um, there to do exactly what his uh, office entitled him to do. So he has not worked or even be found uh, in any uh, of the shenanigans that other people sometimes they get involved uh, themselves with, for example, corruption and all that. He was a, a, a real, uh, you know, I would say if he was a civil servant, he was somebody who was living upon the means of what he was getting from the government. Uh, that's Comrade Kaya for you. What you were seeing is what you would get from him, even if you would meet him in person, very charming, very calm person uh, and, and full of joy all over. You, you would see him even on the um, on the Politburo, after Politburo meetings, you would be just in a jovial mood. Uh, that's how, that's how I'll come. Yes, I think uh, something went in there. Maybe so, so it's I, a phone call. Yeah, go ahead. Yes. Yes. So uh, all the announcements that he did, even uh, we're talking now about the new dispensation. He, he was working from his office. He was not working from his head or from any faction. I have never had him being any way closer to be, to, to be in a faction. And, uh, you know, he's uh, somebody who came from Zapu, ended up coming together and uh, be part of Zampier. He has never shown signs of tribalism, uh, signs of uh, favoritism in the work that he was doing. And I, I hope that... Uh, we will continue to have a replacement um, such like him. Because for me, I think as ZANPF and as Zimbabwe, uh, I think we have lost a, a, a son of the soil, uh, somebody who was actually uh, showing the way for the young people um, as far as leadership is concerned. So yes, he supported the new dispensation, uh, not, not really supported the new dispensation, but his job um, would entitle him to do what he did. Uh, so I think that's that's all I can say. Thank, thank you very much, uh, Chonga. Maybe you can make a follow-up uh, question. Yes, so I don't know if you want to go to the next one. I don't know if you want to go to the next one. I don't know if you want to go to the next one. I don't know if you want to go to the next one. I don't know if you want to go to the next one. I don't know if you want Wamunanga kwa wachi zingwa mu bato ne ba ne ne na wamu gabe wazo kwa wamunanga kwa wachi nyoro tamba yokuwa wamu gabe wa vapa shikaro wasaimonu kaya moyo 
ndo vakaita inonzi pachivano mutumwa hana mbonje hapana akambo waru wapa warumi waviri wesa chaura itu nzuge wacha rumbira ndino hote nda shukuru wajonga um, ndiru kukunzo waya simu chibreka nisidi imuru kukunzo wa shakanake ya yeah, we can hear you yes ndino, ndino la hote nda shukuru e, noro hunde ya wasa munkaya moyo se mwana waka shari baku plum tree e, wachiso inda woku ku zambia e, kuma early the, uh, almost late 60s really e, kwa waka zono zidza wachipi peza iso sundo kwa waso tokao baka buhini wa independence baka zono Uh, for, uh, uh, I think there was a phone that was incoming call. Okay. So uh, we, we we have actually lost you, uh, Mr. Charumbira. So can, can you can you rejoin if you can? Because I think you touched a, a mute button. So can can you rejoin? So see you back again. Who is who? I'm called this Moyo. So I was telling about when one and then was Okay, no, it's fine. Ah, uh, but to be earlier on, when you are little, you comment on Kaya Moyo because I into the Zan PF Zia Shupa. There is a lot of lies as in Zagala and Elise in Zimbabwe. Whereby the real heroes are uh, Abala, Belula Kulu, E. Liberation Strike, Abanya Be Quinestal Heroes, E. Capicosi, Babin Achabu, Lisi, E. Umpunjanje ukaya moyo uchonile ubizwa in national hero in part nga kangela bantu ya matevelele in particular le plant lapa zala kona angkolu kuchu kuchu national ukaya moyo in national hero ubaya guna nzelela i remember in 2013 i had a case around makuzeze ego chichi emangwe lapu simon kaya ayengu ee ispata manja sasa andu kone vela kona ee mm. sasa slaselewe haba tala sebe slaselewe ee nga maticha ae vela kona le arare ee selima liye skole nga nge 30,000 trains because ya foku nga mfonelu simon kaya moyo to alert him about that problem mungu tinjenge top officially yes anu pf <coughs> nga nge nela ganja na nge tise wange na pansu simon kaya gaza nga iba ambeli ndaba i remember by then phoning umama u angelin masugu oa i kavena ye matsaut wase kwa luguti nimnige i report ya in writing amnigeza but yungu chua yuguti u simon kamoyo cannot be a national hero in zimbabwe contest but i want to invite you to plan to pass mangwe inga bin zelanga lucho hambe boni mkwa kwa ya sepla mtu kuchi fenja ni kuna luguti kufela kwa ni simon kaya na mtanji besa sim celebrator situli hero inga yuguti ube serve my interest as an pf what uh, Mr. Uh, Mkotismo is saying here is that, you know, some people can call him a national hero and so forth, but in his own place, uh, it didn't do well. You know, he says the roads are in bad shape and many other things, you know. At one stage, he was looking for him to actually fix a problem concerning schools in Mulilima, and Simon Kaya was nowhere to be found. So he says, well, you can call him a hero, but some other people is not a hero. At all. Maybe uh, I can uh, respond to Mr. Moyo, not that I'm um, siding with Mr. Uh, Simon Kayamoy, but um, to Mr. Mtondi's uh, statement. Maybe he was not a corrupt guy. Uh, that's why he didn't uh, fight to uh, make sure that his area is developed when uh, its uh, uh, allocation was not enough. He didn't uh, do like other guys who we know amass wealth to develop their areas. What can you say, Mr. Moy? <laughs> Thank you very much, Mr. Chonga. I'm not talking about corruption here. <laughs> I'm talking about uh, when you say somebody is a national leader, uh, his uh, nationalism uh, uh, leadership role uh, emanates from where he hails from. This is where my point of contention is. I'm not even saying Simon Kamoy was corrupt or not corrupt. I am simply saying Zimbabwe was fought for uh, uh, before 1980. 
I had uh, Mr. Uh, Charumbira even trying to explain uh, uh, how uh, um, about the contributions of Simon Kayamoyo before the reparation strike. But I'm saying after 1980, when we attained the so-called Zimbabwe independence, all the Matabinaland uh, leaders who were coming from Zapu after the 1987 Winter Court failed to stand with the people and even uh, speak for them or come up with developmental I mean project in their respective areas. Now when you talk about corruption and all those things, this is not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that Simon Kaya failed to represent these people very well, but you will be seen representing what people may call national issues, forgetting his own people who made him probably to be Simon Kamo that we are talking about today. Yes, I was a so, we have to go on for a second. We military intervention. Nyabonga, it's a good job. And Columbia corruption, Ubujo, Vangoba is unpeer, very party corrupt. He can't party a massa. So, a very years ago, Lutia Jonja or Simon Carmoyo, Valentian, which was a very material lend. I want to bang up a young thing like my bang up a bit, but to make more operating for whenever maybe Labo Kimboma, Java corrupt, Tabanga Masela Bangle. But the rest of these guys, Ababu, we have a very good up, the zip train, the Baba Fundi city sprint, Baba Fundi. Yeah, you are So, Let's bring in uh, Mr. Fusango. Uh, Mr. Fusango, I think, is in now. Uh, he had uh, a challenge with his microphone. I think now is okay. So there you are, Chonga. Yes, uh Va Va Sangwa and Zutiva ones where Rima Shoko Ava Moyva Bakutaura and Zutivangava Zoka Mchurongwa Va Vusango. Uh Ah yes, okay. yes, um Vajonga Vajonga to the point of good life. And dance wa uh, moyo uh bakutaura wash taura nya ebuti Va Simon Kaya Moyo Munu Anga Chita Zinganzi Pashiva Pashirungu is a grand standing yeah wanu wuda kuni kwa newa nu kunzasi wa chine glekta kwa woko wanova e sakawanu mdunu awatombo wa wona kunga wanganzi wanga kodzira kwita gambare nyika nguti charity begins at home. Uh do do ma wonera wane tao <coughs> yeah do tangani mu you want show now English. Chero Shona Tanga in Shona Timbons, Rakanya Sona Karim Rokatsika. Thank you. He chose last week to Muna nineteen ninety. Wakaya Moyo, Munamach, Nopalaga, Nopalagato MP, Weku Plumti, Willila Manga. I think one was so Miss Babi, Wakatanga was about to plant the Kunons, the Kunan Jubanons, Willila Manga, East. A do. Wakaita kuti plum tree in yatsa was kama in any the kambo in the plum tree, even last year and the plum tree. The katendera plum tree, it was my first time. The show now to send you a reportering, name a jibo reportering, name Potwana. A wagaya mo, wagaya basaraka kura gulila mango. A sa MP when jimbo yo. Waka in my election, I think he won't go in a two terms or so. Vasat was a dope, Vasat and Dominata ambassador. Saka nao, tinuona isu kuti eh, kana tika dao kukombe ya eh, tichita wa raidu biografi ya avu tika dao kukombe ya basara kato wanawa kaya mwoyo nima ministries esa waka puwa eh, vari mgovernment kushika iko shunizu batiso batiso shaika atisu kuona pa wano nene kwa kana pa waka inisu wa kukot kana pa kambo ita wano kuplamtri wachichema kuti eh, gawa visi wesa MP ya pana shabari kutitira as the Tangatona to plum tree, Yagato Budi like a sumuka, Nogoda Kaya, Lagata Oti in Jimbo Yagas, Gamu Yuma Peto Peto, as in Jimbo Yagas, Gamano Guti, Kwaka, Vamuna, that means a Kushito Ma, 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 ma development, the Gatu plum tree, Yagawan, the Gatu are through Wakaya Moyo. Do not want the Shikoro Shakawaka, Kubulina Mangwe, a Migwagayaiso, Kubulina Mangwe, a Shakaiso and Nani apart from a Ambassador Kaya Moyo. So I think 
e kana tikada kukombea zedu vari MP wakaya moyo nema MP AMDC e, because MDC ndiyo opposition political party ya Mzimbabu e nema MP angakati wande tikada za mjimbo zese za because plum tree i, ino ingluda epi vandu wa chishanda kuku kuma kuma constituents hariko ikoko saka tuliku wana esukuti mjimbo zino zino tunga miri kwa ni MDC Weda alliance or MDC, Papa Yakatanga MDC Yacho Yose. Nema MP, yes, I'm PF, yes, I'm PF each tanga. To get out as a different that's true that it was Zambief, Kunon and corruption, etc., etc. As Uganda, my constituents, yes, as I'm PF, including constituents, Yagaji, Chitunga Miriban, our Kayamoy. Unona with development, Unote Batana, Maokochi, one, Nema Sako. Sagati kwa nukutiti kombe ya tibi, tataka kutiti nasi nukutiti wakaya mwe wa 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 shaika. Chota nga kutawa raisisi kutiti wakaya mwe wangu wana muna angasi nga sisi shanga achita. Hapana sha wakati itira. Aa. Kana, tika, kana imimi wajonga. Kana mune vana venue we studio 7. Vari kuplamtri ishi ishi. Waka kupa inyo sisi kuplamtri kutiti wana mwaku 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 ku 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 parliament kana vasiri ku south africa kwa vanga ambassador vanenge vari ku plum tree kumusha vachifamba nevanhu kumusha munhu anga achidiwa ku plum tree ku zvimbo yanobva tinozivira kuti tell the beginning at home kana imuka vaya kwangu kumusha kwando vachaumbira ndo pamuti aziva vajonga kuti indiri munhu akaita sei kana ndi kawaya kwenyu vajonga uko ndo pamuti aziva kuti mukanya vakaita sei same thing na mukoma gibbs saka i think at this point it is important to give the jews where they 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 they, they, where they, where they, they are deserved vakaya moyo Waka manya nindi mayavu, waka ita basara wala waka ita, awana ina nisa nambu waka na msu wani, waka nza waka ya mwe washe zwa mkotu nye ya corruption, waka ya mwe washe zwa mkotu nye ya abuse of office, hati nambu shi twice, we have nothing, no record of that, all what we have is we have record of excellence, even pavanga wale ambassador, waka save a South Africa, munu wega wega ngaru ku South Africa, nguwe ya waka ya mwe, ma passport, wanu wana wana on time, wanu wanga wane, nashita wakubata imuro mwa wacha rumbira wati, yes, Umbo umbo amuga dende upit chipfura umbo apiwa na wam kundi simoyo vanu vaku plum tree iro. Ayos, dosa kanda tawa rendi kati kose suni suto tar singa zisi imam jis ziva ele. Yeah, ni mama zima banga jis ziva sabata ora. Tawa ora noronde, wuti vaga tunga vachito communicate na vachwa nyorera, which means vantu inya ya vanga vachito family zana ya vachu kumbira wuti vaiti development ne shavai dakubati ro amuntu bama. Regaito na kuti Gibbs anga wa dosa ya repa mwe wano kuna mga waini tume shukue zera. Yes, so before maybe bringing Mr. Moyo, let me bring in Mr. Tata Moses Nube mm -hmm. uh, of Freedom Alliance. So this guy is independent. He doesn't belong to any political party. So uh, welcome to the program, Mr. Nube. Uh, Siyabu nga wabuti ube uh, di chona njani. This chona nga kulu ki. As kansi nga kuna kuki, uka Simon Kaya Moyo, ukubona njani. Ukuti wasa benza njani bantu ini. E njalo si zulu wa mungu si mwe siti u Simon Kaiwai chele la wani ni telele si mwazgubu ya uti alwele abantu kona poko lokaliti kota uli national level wae shaino wazani mucho sha kumbu matindi hae si abonga nkaba ngutu moyo e ukinisile e gugunzi ma ukukuluma ngomuntu nga esesi chile gui guti esa pila si zange si mchele e lezo zinto Mm. E, angi zange ngimbone uba bukaya moyo esugumela e, i, ama pinkinga esilazo e matebelele angi zange ngimbone esuguma e ngegu ngenze kutube suguma ngingaze e, e gumbe ngingeko ngingaze ngamungambone so mm. e, abantu bagiti nkabamu kutikumeli kutisigufunde e bantu inabanje ngabukaya uba bumoyo maese kambile uguti umuntu indawo ya kibo aga imele hayu kutikube nguye otoligayo Nizo alapa kutoligu muntu enka mae situ ngucharumbira loo muntu angazi kute plamtri uge wafiga nini. Ugute nkaye na loo muntu uge wafiga. E, e, gumele uguti kona abantu bagiti loo babe siti banga man national politicians. Koto abagu wazi i krasi ruti lapa basuga kona. E, Lalabe zindaba lani kuchukuti belinga kuluminga imi sevenze mitle e, chiongu baba loo kulumayo abe yenza. E, Minangzange ngimboni. Ende ngizwa ngilo kuta nukuti ngumuntu obe kumele Abe lo mtele la woguti e, A inki ngeze matebelele Akulu mengazo Kulo kuti pluwa kama teacher for example Kucha elugwe nzagala ngenjela Enga isiyo nzange ngimuzuka ya muweziti Agwenziwe into a right 
so ke kungenza kube nzima ukuthi ngikhulume ngaye ngoba sokuzamela ngikhulume in the negative kodwa ke kungumuntu osesichile mina ngicaba ngukuthi nje ngingamtshiya aziphumulela umuntu omdala kusalela abatsha ukuthi abantu asifundeni kumela indawo zakithi yes qala ufake ngesilungu kona kanti khuluma akho baba Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Um, th- there is nothing that I can I can say about uh, uh, Mr. Kaya Moyo because um, what has been happening is that we have not been hearing anything. We have not seen him um, standing for for the issues, the challenges that are in Matebele. I have not seen him going to the grassroots, identifying with the people there. But he has been somebody who is at national level international level uh, grand stay standing there or, or on the grand stage but we, we require people of his influence of his stature to have been somebody who was at the grassroots uh, being with the old woman who is suffering in the rural areas the small boy who cannot go to school um the family that cannot have uh, anything to eat but i have not seen him do that i have not seen him um uh, seek dialogue with the people where he comes from because you get to be national from the grassroots and then you get to be international from the grassroots then the national and then you are international you can't be running around as an international person when in your grassroots you are not there and the person who is talking glorifying him is somebody who is a, a charumbira i suppose charumbira is coming from somewhere in machonare i don't know whether charumbira has been in material to see uh, what um, um uh, Mr. Kayamo has been doing all along. So I think this should be a, a wake up call for young people and politicians that uh, people should start everything from where they come from and then they build up going up there. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, let's bring in Mr. Mkondi Simoyo, uh, like what Tonga uh, Kandemiri uh, wanted us to do earlier on and hear his views, you know, on some of these issues. Tonga? About... Okay. Tonga? Yes, uh, Baba Moyo. I think you heard what Mr. Charumbira said. He said that <laughs> he, said that he has been in a uh, uh, plum tree and he saw a lot of development. And also he's asking why you are bringing this up after the demise of, uh, Mr. Sa- of Ambassador Simon Kayamon. Hey, hey, thank you so much, Mr. Chonga and Mr. Dube. Um, it's so unfortunate that we are made to be discussing about the late Kayamoyo. Uh, apparently, Mr. Charumbira mentioned something about uh, uh, when uh, Mr. Simon Kaya became the MP uh, in Bulilim around 1990. Uh, to, to me, it shows that Mr. Charumbira doesn't know much about what has been happening in Zimbabwe, even around the 90s there about. Because in 1990 in Zimbabwe, we had only one party that was zanu pf there was no any other party so who did simon kaya contest with in 1990 to prove that indeed he contested against other countries of of, of opposing parties of that time and one you reckon that between 1990 and year 2000 before mdc came it was only zanu pf alone and its other I mean, uh, uh, parties that ZANPF will create to behave as if there are some opposing parties in Zimbabwe, while they say that there are no parties. So I'm simply saying that the development that Mr. Charumbira is talking about is people of material in South and particularly Plum Tree. We don't know any development which was brought about by Mr. Simon Kaya. The roles that he is talking about <laughs> were con- Constructed by the government of Ian Smith, ZANPF government has never built uh, uh, some roads or constructed some schools anywhere in Matebele Land. Should it be in Matebele North? Should it be in Matebele South? Should it be in Mikens? All the projects that have been done there is either they were done by the government of Ian Smith or the communities doing it on their own or the non-governmental organizations. So to me, it's a sign that Mr. Charumbira doesn't know about what is happening. I mean, in 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 Matebele in South, particularly Plum Tree, where Simon Kaya Moyo hailed. He could be better off telling us about what is happening in Mashona Land because when he comes here and wants to tell us something which is not true, we'll act with him. Not that we're arguing about it. I mean, whether Simon Kaya was a liberator or not, but we're arguing about the fact that Simon Kaya failed to bring about development in, in Plum Tree, where he, where he hailed. Yes, 
ya nyiti mina uba wabucha rumbira uya kanyu guti imba laza mungu sikela yona gaya za sisi ilu kupesu la adwe zimbabwe uuchu ya cholu munto suge arare kuna lima shona lende funu guzo sikela ngenda abasa ima tebele lende waili stina on the other hand as sugi seba chela ngenda abasa se arare ukuluma ungutu simon kamoyo wa ki mkwato i mkwato yonke se ima tebele lende babu tuvelo mr chonga ya ki wa i government ka ian smith i government ka robert mkabe li gamna ngakwa abaga leti development ima tebele lende izu kolo zonke zikona za ki wa i government ka smith gumbe le 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 lama communities lama ngos so uguti uba abu charumbira asche lugu tu simon ka wenza loku la loku tine si vela kona kona ngale singa wazi angazi kutu kuluma ngani njalo u simon kaya la pati wae wina kona ngu 1990 kwa kufana loguti njiza anu pf ya yu oto ngobu kwa ngele la strong opposition by that time so kesi abonisu kutu hai benga mpraise abona njenge zan pf bakulu menge ngobu tu simon kaya ube ikut lita ngoba vele ku zan pf kia praise wana au gaze kusolwe mtu weza ngumnanga kukuluma nguti ukaya gaza ngabo chedi corruption vele ku zan pf wakula mtu agebo chedi corruption nga nangu emerson mnanga kwa as the current president wabula laba nipagit nye kukura unji wabo chwa nguba siyabo nga skirubwa mbe kuna po mwoyo nga kika chana spisu babu charumbira ee chonga let's bring in mr charumbira ee mr charumbira there you are chonga Yes, why you heard what Mr. Moy just said. I think you are itching to defend yourself there. Thank you very much, uh, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Jonga. I think uh, the, the, the two speakers who just uh, get off the podium, I think they should ask themselves, after Comrade Kayamoy was uh, the MP for Bulila Mangwe South, who was the next MP after him, and the next one, and the next one, and the current? That shows that the people of Mulila Mangwe South trust the Sanfir, with no doubt, whether there is development or no development. So if I don't know if he is there, he if he's there, he should go and change the politics on on the ground, because you cannot come here and tell us that Simon Kayamoyo, when he was uh, uh, in 1990, when he was. Uh, when he became the, the MP of that constituency, because ZANPF was the only party in Zimbabwe. So which means he, whose problem was that for ZANPF to be the only party in Zimbabwe? So we were not supposed to have MPs just because we are the only party in the country. But not only that, we, 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 we continued to, 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 to took the reins of, of uh, Wadila Mangwe South up to today. Right now, who is the current senator and who is the current uh, uh, MP for that? So. I don't think that uh, those those points are very valid. Uh, I, I think what we need to, to do is uh, to, to to understand is that he he served all his positions very well. But as you know, there is always going to be somebody who wants to speak negative about anybody, especially in our partisan PF. But we are not moved by that. We are going to celebrate his death. We are going to give him a good send off, a revolutionary uh, icon, because all what he has done from being MP ambassador all the ministries that he occupied in, in, in the country, he saved very well, he saved with, from the bottom of his heart. And he, mind you, people of Ulida Mangwe South, they are actually mourning right now. They mourn because they knew who Kayamoy was. He did a lot for his people, and uh, definitely for sure, like I said, you're always going, going to find somebody who will point fingers on you. But uh, Simon Kayamoy did all what he could. I think for me, I would, if, I, if I'm going to be an MP or a member of, uh, of parliament, I would like to be like him. I think he, he had a very good record, better than most records that we, we get out there. So um, I, I would dismiss all that, all what he said. It doesn't mean that, me, me I've been to Plumtree. I was I in Plumtree in, in January this year. Mr. Sharumbira, they, they are not disputing uh, Mr. I mean, Ambassador Simon Kayamoy's role at national level. What they are talking about is... Uh, local representation they are even uh, um, highlighting issues that they thought uh, ambassador moyo would have sided with the locals issues like uh, the bringing of uh, teachers who are not uh, uh, conversant with the local language and uh, local traditions and all that and uh, also the issue of uh, gukura hundi i think it's something that uh, people in material and uh, especially think that those uh, in the top uh, hierarchy of ZANU-PF who hail from that area were not as uh, strong 
bakers as they ought to be from their locals. That's what uh, these people are talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 exactly. I was actually going there, I was not done. Because mm -hmm. what I wanted to say is, I wanted to respond point to point. He mentioned that all the senior uh, uh, former ZAPO uh, members who joined ZANU uh, and uh, they reign from, uh, uh, from Matibelele. Mm -hmm. they, he, he was part of the people. But I want, I want him to show me one person who was from Zapu, became Zanu, and uh, was a, a, a strong figure of uh, the party. The, the likes of himself, uh, uh, Joshua Mkau Kongomo, was he not the vice president of Zimbabwe? Did he, why did he agree to work with uh, Robert Gabriel Mugabe? Or the, or the John Gomo, the Msikas, himself, Kaya Moyo, Dabemba, everybody from Adebele and we don't want to move back and try, by all means, try to scrutinize the peace that we have in our country. Right now, the president is doing, the commission is going very well. The first time you see the president of Zimbabwe going to Matabeleland in, in six months, maybe maybe nine times, meeting with the with the chiefs and all the political strongholds uh, in Matabeleland. We are having peace in Matabeleland. The Bukuraundi issue, issue is being dealt with, and the, everybody in Matabeleland is happy with the proceedings. So what I'm trying to say is that, is that as a country, we need to be peaceful. All these leaders from Matabeleland, what they were doing, the reason why they were working together, joining hands with... Um, the current government and the old government. It was because we, we, we had a peace uh, accord in 1987, where we said, let's work together as a country, let's build our country together. So why do we have to go back and destroy the peace accord that we had in, 19, in, in 1987? I think my brother there need to understand, we are talking about nationalism. We want to build our country. We want Zimbabwe to remain peaceful. Comrade Kaya Moyo did his part, working with the government of the day to make, make sure peace is, is proclaimed in our country. Thank, thank you very much. And now let's uh, talk about, you know, the de facto military coup. Just briefly, Mr. Musango. Uh, so looking at uh, where Zimbabwe is today, are you happy? We are very happy. Um, and um, whatever you can call it de facto coup or not, um, we know that the, the parliament, which was comprising of all political parties in Zimbabwe, uh, they were about to go for a vote of no confidence for the former president, the EG, uh, uh, Arajim Gabe. Why? Because of numerous reasons. The man was now old. He was no longer governing the country very well. And they wanted the country to be rescued from its economic uh, collapse. And uh, for sure, we had to do what we could as a country to manage and to rescue the nation. Now Zimbabwe is, is, is prospering. We are being now invited to come to, 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 to the president just uh, left uh, Scotland where he was able to meet all the, the leaders first time after how many years? Over 20 years. We were not invited to a, a platform such like that, apart from going to the UN where we have the, the, uh, the right to do so. So what we are doing as a new uh, dispensation is nothing but developing our country. Little by little, we will develop our country, we will rescue okay. our country from economic collapse that was caused by the old dispensation. The new dispensation is far more different and very positive to the uh to the to the people of zimbabwe than the old dispensation look at the peace look at the freedom you can say whatever you want now you it was studio seven there was studio seven and all other news broadcasting uh, uh, platforms where they they in the old dispensation we should thank comrade Edi Mangawa for allowing us to be free for zimbabwe yes, is yes, free yes. and you to continue to be free thank you sir thank you very much uh, let's bring in mr mkondi simoyo uh, mr moyo can you react to what uh, uh yeah, then physical reactor though, oh, Kalu, Mr. Charumbira must know what it is as people of material and you don't eat nationalism. Nationalism only benefit people from national land, not us people from material land. And in, in, for him today to say uh, there is peace in Zimbabwe after 1987 a court, our people, more than 40,000, were butchered by the current president, Emerson Mnangagwa. Uh, who paid for 106 North Koreans in 1981 who were to train the 50th Brigade in Inyanga. Today he comes here and tells us that there is peace in Zimbabwe and start to mention all those things. We don't eat nationalism as people of material land. We know that he, even if he came that Kukura Undi is over meaning the physical kukura undi. we now suffer what you call economic genocide in material land and Mikens, whereby our resources 
are being looted by people from Harare. I mean, ZANU PF as the as the ruling government having its own satanic 1979 Shona Grand Plan document. We speak evil about how people of materialism should be should to be taken advantage of. So for him to talk to us about nationalism, why this our people are suffering, why this our resources are looted to Harare, why this even manual jobs are being done by people from Harare at the expense of our own people doesn't reflect what he's calling nationalism. We are under oppression and neocolonialism from ZANU-PF government. And for him to say, you as Studio 7 uh, uh, broadcasters, you are now doing what you are doing because of ZANU-PF, that is a total fallacy. He's a liar. <laughs> he should be telling us because you, you are independent. You are not being even accorded to this, I mean, uh, platform by, by, by ZANPF. So I'm so much disappointed because whatever he's saying about ZANPF doesn't reflect what is really happening in, 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 in Matebele and in Mikians. And this thing of coup, de facto, what have you, is so sad that he is an UPF, Aiga Busi, Kumbaiga Kokelabantu, since 1980. Everything is being stage managed from 1980. Even Ugubusa was an UPF, is an UPF, Yarika, in Britain. And the Ukaba Kubega Begwen, Wana, the Ungaman negotiated agreement in Abom Kabe, Labo Chichuengua, Labo, Labo Mkono, Father Mkono, Labo Charumbira, the Kuluma Bebo to Abang Avant Pesson and Gunga Avant Pesson Deveren, Gutogia Kiwilis, Eli One, Avant Pesson Deveren. Yes, I was a colleague, Babu Moyo. What is letting a Babu Moses? A Tonga, we've got Mr. Moses Nube. I think he's back. He had been cut off. So let's hope he's, he's around now. now yes. I think we cannot uh, see him. So maybe, maybe I can just it... read uh, two or three comments here. Give... Yes, quiet. Yes, yes. yes uh, we have uh, Skumbuzo Mlalazi who is saying we are an angry people where is he taking us i don't know where i mean uh, who he's talking about and then he's correcting uh mr Vusango charumbira he says it's bulilima mangwe not south charumbira and then we have lucindo Chikore. go ahead charumbira build a straw man and knock it down then stanley gumbi there's no peace in material land arara and Ulawa will never be the same as the shona supremacy is Stifling the developers. Then uh, there is a Jo D Nkomiyapi Msipa. Then, uh, well, he says, Charumbira, that's typically Zanpi of talks in Zimbabwe prospering, where you just make where you just make people of material land. What freedom are you talking about? What peace are you talking about? ZANPF is and has always been uh, killers from start. Those are some of the comments gives. Yeah, maybe ask him in Shona. There he is. Yes, I have a charumbira. Tanzwa, wamo ya wachita ura pokuta iwa. Nyaya iripo, nyaya ikutimbiri rana kumbakare. Zanu PF, yanga isinga de pusimu zira unu, remate wele lendi. Ameno kutimune, mindure ya kadi inga fura, ramayi mbeyo mchisana ngura, wacharumbira. Ah, eh, ndino, ndine urombo, shukuru, kuna mkumba wangu wangu wachita ura kuti muna asiri happy with her. Uh, current affairs of the country. But I think uh, the only way we can continue to move forward is, uh, as a country is not to speak uh, the old language. Uh, this, the language that uh, he is speaking about, it's, it, it has not, not, not been heard of in a long time. Uh, Zimbabwe is moving on. It will not go back. We will continue to push for peace and tranquility in Matebele land and all over Zimbabwe. Uh, what he said about um, uh, Zimbabwe is not only Matebele land and Mashona land. We have got other provinces. I'm not, I'm not from Mashona land. I'm from Mashona province. And uh, as a matter of fact, I grew up partly in Vlawayo. My, I have love for Vlawayo. And that's why I told you I was, I was in a plum tree in this January myself. I was doing something there. So I know plum tree very well. So uh, you, if you tell me your address, I can tell you that maybe probably I passed by there because I was going around plum tree to know more about it and, and everything there. And uh, there's quite a lot of development that is happening in the plant um, currently. So basically, um, we, we cannot be moving backwards as a country. Uh, like I said, right now, all the chiefs in Matabele and South, North, um, in Ulawayo, they are meeting almost every month to talk about the, um, the reconciliation and peace. 
um, that was uh, uh, as a result of trying to finalize uh, the Gukura Hunde main issue. Anyway, and, no, and no unfortunately, chief in Matibeli land. unfortunately, Charumbira time is up. You know, it's like when I was watching Bafana Bafana with Ghana, I was wishing that they could be given extra time, maybe 16 minutes, like what happened to Islanders and Danamos at one stage. But unfortunately, we're out of time. We have to, to leave it here. We have Mr. Ngube. Mr. Ngube, one second. Just only one second. Do you think anything uh, is moving in Zimbabwe? Yes or no? Nothing. Nothing is moving. Okay. Nothing. Thank, thank you very That's much. That's what you, I can You've got the last word there. So mm -hmm. thanks uh, to Mr. Uh, Reches Vusango Charumbira, uh, Mr. Nkanta, uh, Moses Ngube of Freedom uh, Alliance, Mr. Mkondisi uh, Moyo, the leader of Mtoka's Republic Party, and all those who joined our show today. Signing off is Kips Tube in Maryland, saying good night, Zimbabwe. Neni, Jonka Kandemiri, Dirum Maryland, Rakare, Dotimurai, Rakanaka, Tosanga, and Amnesh Mwishirongwa, the Studio 7. Thank you.